Now that you have your MySQL database ready, we will need to create a folder on your web space. Now this folder will be the home directory for your domain name. Basically, what happens is that if somebody types your domain name on this address, it goes to your web space and your web space needs to know which folder to use. Now in that folder that we are about to create, it will contain all your WordPress file. So we start by going on to your control panel. So I'm with one and one, so I'm going to log into one and one control panel and pick the hosting package that you wish to put your website in. On the left column of your control panel, click on Web Space Explorer. This is found under Access. In the root of the folder, click on the Add a New folder and type the name of the folder that you wish to create. If you are going to have multiple websites on this account, make sure that you call the folder the domain name so that it can be distinguished between this and other folders. Next, we will upload the WordPress code into this folder. To do that, first download the WordPress code from wordpress.org or simply click on the link beneath this video. Click on download to download the latest version and click on the link there to download. Go back to the, WordPress, the web folder explorer Click on the Upload file, select the file that you wish to upload, choose the WordPress file that you've just downloaded. This is a zip file and click OK. When that's finished, you can see that the zip file is now inside the folder, inside your new folder. Right click on the file and choose Unzip. You will then need to pick the folder where you would like this file to be expanded into. Scroll down to the folder that you have just created, click to select and click OK. What happens now is that it has unzipped the file or expanded the content of that file and put it in a folder called WordPress. What we need to do at this point is to copy the content of this file out into the root or the folder that you have just created. So to do this, click on the first file, hold down the Shift key and click on the last file. Right click and choose Move. Now select the target folder where you would like these files to be moved into. Pick the file name that you have just created, the new folder, and click OK. You can see now that this folder is empty. Click on the go up one level and there are all your files that you have just moved from the WordPress folder. Right click on the WordPress folder and delete. This is good practice to make sure that you do not leave anything, any unwanted files or folders within your web space. In the next video, we will need to tell the server to use this folder or this home directory that you have just created for all your web files.